Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at um, introduction to neuroadaptive learning and ANPIS uh, within the context of uh, MATLAB Simulink. Um, um, Neurofuzzy Designer is um, an application or one of the applications that we can use uh, to carry out um, adaptive um, a neurofuzzy inference systems design within a uh, MATLAB Simulink uh, environment. Um, so there are a number of activities that we can achieve uh, by using the neurofuzzy designer app. Um, the first one being that we can uh, carry out a design of uh, neurofuzzy systems by using uh, the neurofuzzy designer tool within MATLAB uh, Simulink. Uh, we can train the neurofuzzy system we can also test the neurofuzzy system. Of course, um, we usually have two main types of fuzzy systems. Uh, we have the Mamdani uh, fuzzy system and the Sugeno type fuzzy system. But within the context of um, adaptive uh, neurofuzzy inference system, it is only supported for the Sugeno type of the fuzzy inference system. So the NeuroFuzzy Designer app allows us to perform uh, the key activities I have mentioned. That is from design, training, uh, testing of the Sugeno type uh, fuzzy inference systems. Um, of course, in this particular case, we require to have uh, labeled training data. By labeled training data, I mean that we need to have a set of uh, input output uh, data set. And uh, so with this uh, app, we can do the following. We can carry out tuning of membership functions. Of course, um, those deploying the Sugeno type of uh, fees, that is fuzzy inference system. We can automatically generate our starting inference system structure um, after uploading the, or uh, after importing the training data set. We can also carry out modifications to the original um, fuzzy inference uh, structure before we conduct our tuning. We can also guard against overfitting the training data set. Of course, um, we can always use uh, some um, additional checking uh, data so that uh, we prevent the case of overfitting uh, taking place. Remember when the model is subjected to overfitting, the uh, chances are that uh, it is going to, uh, to be less accurate. We can also test uh, out the generalization capability of uh, our fuzzy inference system. Uh, by now using testing data set. And then finally, we are able to export our tuned fuzzy inference system into um, the MATLAB workspace. Now, um, there are two main ways in which we can access the NeuroFuzzy Designer app within uh, MATLAB. And um, I want to uh, take viewers quickly through those two methods, which of course will uh, give us a window that looks like the, the one that is um, presented. So the first method is, uh, let me first of all go to um matlab app let me see if uh, the application is running yes so um, the first method uh, to access the neurofuzzy designer app is uh, by using the command prompt area so here we type the function uh neuro fuzzy Type neurofuzzy designer, uh, small n, capital F, capital D, one word. Then you hit enter. So that way it will open the neurofuzzy design tool, neurofuzzy design tool, uh, which is here. In our future videos, we will look at how we can work with, uh, with this. We will look at how we can work with the neurofuzzy designer tool. Uh, so basically, this is it. This is the neurofuzzy designer tool. This is it. So that is one method 
of accessing the neurofasi designer app. The other method of accessing uh, the same, um, you can come here. Um, let me share my MATLAB application. So you come to MATLAB application. Usually you will be under home here. Then you navigate to apps. Then uh, under apps, you go to, um, under apps, you go to, just a second, need not to have that. Under apps, you can click more here. When you click more, then you can go to control systems design and analysis, control system design and analysis. Then you scroll there under control system design and analysis, you will see uh, the NeuroFuzzy Designer app here. So you just click on it once and there it will take you to the NeuroFuzzy Designer app window. So those are the two methods that we can use to access the, those are the two methods that we can use to access the NeuroFuzzy Designer app in MATLAB Simulink. Um, if you wanted to access the fuzzy logic design, then you will type uh, fuzzy here, uh, capital L, so fuzzy logic, then designer as a first method. So you type fuzzy logic designer, um, fuzzy logic designer, then you hit enter. So that one will uh, start the fuzzy logic designer app and we'll start the fuzzy logic designer app uh, this one here but you can also access the same by coming to apps here then you click on more then under control system design and analysis you come and click on the fuzzy logic designer that one over there it will still take you to the fuzzy logic designer app So now once you're there, um, in our future videos, we will look at how we can navigate through this, but um, essentially you can see the different areas within the um, NeuroFuzzy Designer uh, graphical user interface. Uh, it can allow you to load the training data. Uh, you usually maybe work with 80% of the original data set and testing data checking data, maybe you can have 10% here, 10% there. So you can load the data either from a file, maybe stored in the local uh, uh, storage or um, memory of the PC or from the workspace. You can clear the uh, data and again, load uh, fresh data. You can uh, generate the fuzzy inference system using different methods. You can uh, uh, create a fuzzy inference system from a file stored in machine. Uh, from a workspace using grid partitioning or subclustering. So um, you can make a selection on uh, which basis or method you want to use to generate the fees, and then you click generate fees. Um, there are different uh, training uh, uh, methods or optimization methods that you can also select from this drop down here. There is the back propagation. Uh, algorithm and the hybrid algorithm. Then of course you can specify the error toler tolerance value here, at which point uh, once that error value is attained, then the training will be terminated. Then the number of iterations or epochs you specify here. So the adaptive neurofuzzy inference system information will be listed here in terms of the number of inputs, the number of outputs, the number of input membership functions, and then the number of check data pairs, like in this case for this sample here is uh, 26. If you want to test the fuzzy inference system, uh, you can carry out a uh, plot against the training data set, a uh, testing data set, um, or even checking data set. Um, so we've seen, in this video, we've seen um, uh, how we can access the NeuroFuzzy Designer app or tool within MATLAB Simulink. 
and some of the activities that we can achieve using the NeuroFast Designer app area of the MATLAB Simulink. There are also some important functions that are um, usually used uh, in the design of ANFIS. Um, and the, 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 these are basically the ANFIS function and the gen FIS functions, which we will look at in future. Thank you for listening to me. Watch out for our future videos on the same. In case you're watching this channel for the first time, you can like the video. You can also hit the subscribe button for those who have already subscribed into uh, this channel. Thank you very much for your continued support. Bye-bye for now.